Now we're going to make a large gingerbread square card here and I'm just showing you the pieces of paper that I've actually printed out and used but you can choose any of the background papers or anything like that that you want to use. So I printed out one of the large gingerbreads here, the gender neutral whatever they're called. Uh, they got that. I've used half of the page of that. I've printed out some background paper with gingerbread on there using some gold card in this or paper. I've also printed out some of the windows and used some of those. I've also printed out a, a background paper which gives you nice strips of gingerbread people there. So this is what I did. I've made a square card by trimming and gluing just two A4 sheets of card together to give me a nice square card. And the first thing I'm going to do is I stuck some gingerbread background onto some gold card and now I'm going to stick that directly onto the front of the card. Easy to do. Make sure you get the cut make sure you get it the right way round. Just line this up. And because I've got wiggle room I can get it in exactly the right position. There you go, that goes there. The next bit I'm going to create the house and I printed off one of the patterns from the cut out house set there and what I've done is I've put it onto the paper cut round it and then stuck that onto some gold backing paper and created that house shape. I also did with the windows you've got various window shapes or doors I went for the square one eventually but you could have chosen any shape you wanted to I've done that with the gender person here, the uh, ginger fluid, non-binary, non -binary, whatever it is, you can make it into whatever you want. Stuck a couple of little glittery things here on, on their, very difficult, their tummies. And then I've taken one of the background papers, cut a strip and put that on gold as well. Now it's just a case of assembling all of that. So I've put some double sided foam tape on the back ready and I think I'm going to stick this just about there and the foam tape raises that up nicely in fact I'll lift no I'll do there then I'm going to stick the window on I think I'll put the window about there you could do it that way if you wanted but I'm going to do it lengthwise and I'm going to do it just about there so you've got the window to the gingerbread house. Next, I've got the strip. Now you could do all sorts of things with this. You could put it on an angle down there maybe. Try not to stick it down. But I'm just going to put it across the bottom there like that. And it's the right length. And I'm just going to stick it down over there like that. So you can still see some coming up. You can play around and get whatever uh, connotation you want. Let me just check if that's straight. No, it's not straight. Let me pull this off gently. Let me just get this straight. Can't talk when I'm doing it straight. There you go, that's stuck down now. So that's looking nice, I like that. This is bringing all the bits and pieces together. And I've got the gingerbread man there. Sorry, person. 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 And he can go anywhere he wants. He could stand there or could be on a little jaunty angle. Let me turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. And they can go anywhere they want. They can go anywhere they want. I think I'll put in there a little bit. Put, I don't want to say it, them, they're jumping with joyousness out. Oh, oh look everybody, there's a house for me to live in. Woo. And obviously you can put paper on the inside as well. So that's very easy to assemble and make a lovely card.